Midwest Mountaineering has been a Minneapolis institution since 1950, which makes 2020 quite the year to have our 50th anniversary. So it looks like you need the baseline system. Manager Sheridan Brown says despite having to shut down due to COVID this spring, demand for outdoor gear this summer helped Midwest Mountaineering and other outfitters thrive. So we can also special order them. And yes, the trend looks to continue as the seasons change. We've had a lot of people coming in asking about skis and snowshoes, um, getting really excited to get out this year. And she says that excitement started long before the flakes started flying. We got a few people as early as August, a lot of worry about how our inventory is going to be and if we're going to run out. And for good reason. That's exactly what happened with a lot of summer outdoor gear. Stores had trouble keeping items in stock because their suppliers, such as Accent Paddles in Minneapolis and others, had to shut down manufacturing just as demand was skyrocketing. We were selling kayaks before they even arrived. We would have them on order and customers would come in and we'd tell them a little about the boat and they'd be like, I'm sold. Let me know when it's here. Here's the money. Sheridan points out that they still only have one canoe on hand, but she's feeling a bit more optimistic about cold weather gear. We're trying to be ready for it. In some cases, it's hard, but we're trying. What are you telling people right now if they're asking you, can I get it? There's been some supply chain interruptions. Uh, clothing is the big one. Our winter insulated winter jackets and things like that are going to be tough. We're not getting all of what we ordered and reorders we're hearing are going to be really challenging. But while you might want to scoop up a jacket for shoveling snow. Now, she said skis and snowshoes normally don't go on sale until at least November. So if you're willing to wait, patience might pay. Skis, we've actually done quite well. As far as I know, all come in or are coming in. Snowshoes, we've had a little bit of trouble, but it sounds like we're going to get them eventually, just maybe not quite as early as we hoped. Not as early as our mid-October snowfall. <laughs> I did speak to several outdoor retailers today, and they said that this demand issue really extends across the gamut of winter gear, everything from ice fishing supplies to fat tire bikes. Of course, bikes have been hard to come by for a long time. And by the way, it also extends to those of you who maybe want to work out indoors now that it's getting colder, stationary bikes really hard, and any kind of indoor training equipment, it's all flying off the shelves. Jana? Yeah, a lot of that having to do with staying home or staying close to home, I'm sure. Is this then really a mostly supply chain issue or a demand issue, which is, which is weighing heavier on the retailer? Well, it's hard for them to really tell. It's this balance that's going on right now. They all told me that they have been getting calls about cold weather gear since August. So there has been a ton of demand and a lot of people looking to scoop it up earlier than ever. Of course, there's been problems with things like bikes as well for a long time. And now you just heard jackets, some of those things. I've, I heard that fat tire bikes will be in short supply or running out in Minneapolis. But on the other hand, even things that they can stock up on, they got to be careful because we're still in a pandemic. These businesses don't have a lot of room for error. And with cold weather, with winter in Minnesota, weather plays a role and they don't want to have too much on hand come spring if nobody's willing to buy it. Yeah, the ultimate retail gamble there. They don't want to overstock. That's a great point, Kent. Thank you so much.